Hello YouTubers, I've finally reached it, the magic figure of 600 subscribers. Thanks everyone and cheers for putting up with me and uh, leaving comments, constructive comments. Um, here's a cake, here's a virtual GIF cake, especially the little thing that I've just made for you. There you go. Um, I'm going to be making lots more vids. I've, I've made humongous amounts of notes um, about sketches and stuff that I'm going to do, hopefully, uh, if I live long enough. And also, um, you know that I review uh, collectibles such as cards because I'm obsessed with them. And uh, I'm going to be covering subjects such as football. Uh, controversial topics such as uh, World War One recruitment posters and showing you how you can use propaganda techniques for promoting your videos. <laughs> Native American Indians, uh, sorry, sorry, Native um, um, American Chiefs, sorry, uh, the uh, politically correct name. Um, that's quite interesting. And uh, what else have we got? Oh yes, vintage erotica. Nah, no, nah, I'm only joking. Basically, uh, 1930s uh, starlets and dancers in uh, lovely uh, bikinis and uh, reasonably uh, scantily clad but uh, allowable on YouTube. Why? Okay, a lot of you have probably heard about the new 20 pence piece where uh, they've made a big mistake they missed off the year uh, they basically mismatched the was it the obverse with the reverse sides so that it doesn't actually have the year one apparently went on eBay for seven over seven thousand pounds can you imagine that just a simple 20 pence from your change that you could have picked up from your change, right? Actually went for 7,000. Now, although it supposedly went for that much, there's no actual verification that the uh, cash was actually exchanged. If you look on eBay, a lot of them you can see quite a few listed if you look at the completed sales they go for an average of between a hundred to two hundred pounds okay here are two that I found earlier no I'm only joking the rare coin that doesn't display the year is on the left hand side the normal one with 2008 on is on the right hand side so the gist of it is this, they mixed up the back and the front and um, as a result uh, there isn't a date on and this is the first time that they've done it in say 300 years and the Mint um, believe that there's between 50 to 200 thousand in circulation and the London Mint Company, a uh, private company that specialises in unusual coins, is paying about £50 for these. I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave some stars below. And if you found it handy or even mildly entertaining, give me a half for half. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, Subscribe to the tribe by clicking on the yellow icon up in the sky.